All new at 10, the city of Salem is winding down its park camping program for people who are experiencing homelessness. But now they're working on new shelter options. Fox 12's Audrey Wheels shows us the important steps being taken right now. We're at Wallace Marine Park where there was a cleanup today. According to the city, as of last week, there were more than 200 tents here. Campers cleared out Thursday at Wallace Marine Park with work crews, police and heavy machinery. It was back in January 2020 that Salem City Council declared a housing emergency. The council approved overnight camping in unincorporated areas of two parks, Wallace Marine and Cascade Gateway. For both spots, that ended just a few days ago, June 1st. Each park had about 200 tents. Now a city spokesperson says their goals are to bring back the park's original use and environmental compliance. Telling Fox 12 for months there have been outreach efforts for campers. Now workers are moving about 10 to 15 tents per day. It was nice to come down here and actually feel a, a little bit safer uh, walking around. Chad Gillick moved back to Salem from Portland six months ago and says even in a short amount of time, he's seen homelessness worsen. I've watched it grow exponentially. It's reflective of what's happened in the Portland area. We're having to step around encampments, um, people sleeping, uh, sometimes needles. With a lack of shelters, the city is working on options like looking at vacant lots and unrented buildings. Earlier this year, the city put up a pallet shelter community run by a nonprofit, which it says has been successful. And in a few weeks, the council will consider a $3 million change to the budget to pay for outdoor managed campsites, a year of expenses for an indoor shelter, and money for a new hotel shelter conversion. I'm very glad to hear that there is an investment being made into, into people's lives, whether it's to help them to develop skills so that they can provide, provide something more for themselves or maybe providing them with resources towards uh, rehabilitation and just maybe a, a safe place to sleep at night. Yes, absolutely, I'm, I'm all for it. The city also got a $5 million grant for a navigation center, which is in the works. That will help with things like health needs and permanent housing. Reporting in Salem, Audrey Wheel, Fox 12, Oregon.